the enigmatic genius of Ibn Sina, the polymath who shaped modern medicine. In the annals of history, certain names resonate through time, embodying the spirit of innovation and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Leonardo da Vinci, with his multifaceted genius, and Galileo, who dared to challenge the cosmos, are celebrated in the West for their contributions to art, science, and human understanding. Yet nestled in the pages of history is another figure, equally monumental but shrouded in relative obscurity in the Western narrative, Ibn Sina, or Avicenna, a prodigy's beginning. Born in 980 AD in a small village near Bukhara in what is now Uzbekistan, Ibn Sina's prodigious talent became evident early. By the age of 10 he had memorized the Quran and was deeply engrossed in literature. His father, recognizing his son's extraordinary potential, ensured he received a thorough education in a variety of subjects from mathematics to philosophy. At 16, Ibn Sina embarked on his medical studies, and by 18 he was practicing medicine with remarkable success. The Canon of Medicine, a masterpiece. Ibn Sina's magnum opus, The Canon of Medicine, stands as a testament to his unparalleled intellect. This encyclopedic text, written in Arabic, synthesized the ancient Greek medical knowledge of Hippocrates and Galen, with Ibn Sina's own groundbreaking insights. Divided into five volumes, the canon covers general medical principles, simple and compound drugs, diseases of specific organs, and systemic diseases. It remained the cornerstone of medical education in Europe and the Islamic world for centuries, outlasting many of its contemporaries. The canon's detailed categorization and descriptions of diseases, along with its innovative treatments, were revolutionary. It was in these pages that Ibn Sina introduced his advanced understanding of contagion and quarantine measures, ideas that were remarkably ahead of their time. The Hidden Stories of Healing Ibn Sina's medical practice was not just theoretical. His clinical skills were legendary and his case histories provide fascinating glimpses into his methods. One of the most compelling stories is that of a local ruler who suffered from severe melancholia or depression. Traditional treatments had failed and Ibn Sina was called in as a last resort. Recognizing the psychological nature of the ailment, he employed what we now recognize as early cognitive behavioral techniques, engaging the patient in conversation and encouraging him to confront his fears. This innovative approach led to the ruler's full recovery. Another remarkable case involved a prince with a severe gastrointestinal disorder. Ibn Sina's careful analysis and holistic treatment plan, which included dietary changes, herbal medicines and specific exercises, resulted in a dramatic improvement in the prince's health, further cementing Ibn Sina's reputation as a master healer. Beyond medicine, a true polymath, Ibn Sina's intellect was not confined to medicine. His philosophical treatises, particularly the Book of Healing, explored metaphysics, psychology and logic, bridging Aristotelian thought with Islamic philosophy and introducing ideas that would inspire future generations. In astronomy, he questioned and refined the Ptolemaic model, contributing to the understanding of the cosmos and laying the groundwork for future astronomers. The Enigma of Obscurity Despite his monumental contributions, Ibn Sina remains relatively unknown in the Western narrative, often overshadowed by figures like da Vinci and Galileo. This obscurity can be attributed to several factors, including the historical separation between the Islamic world and medieval Europe, and the eventual dominance of Western scholars in the Renaissance who built upon, yet often overlooked, the foundations laid by their Islamic predecessors. A lasting legacy Ibn Sina passed away in 1037 AD, but his legacy endured. The canon of medicine was translated into Latin in the 12th century and dominated European medical education for hundreds of years. His works were studied by luminaries such as Thomas Aquinas and Roger Bacon, who integrated Ibn Sina's ideas into their own philosophical and scientific frameworks. In the Islamic world, Ibn Sina's contributions were equally profound. His integration of philosophy and science inspired generations of scholars, and his medical texts remained authoritative references throughout the Middle Ages and Renaissance. Today, he is remembered not only as a towering figure in the history of medicine, but also as a symbol of the enduring quest for knowledge and understanding.
Ibn Sina's story is a reminder of the interconnectedness of human knowledge and the profound impact one brilliant mind can have on the world. His legacy continues to inspire a testament to the power of intellect, curiosity, and the relentless pursuit of truth.